Welcome to Channel 9 Eyewitness News. Lucy Black and Catherine White are here to discuss the important topic of the 1955 Montgomery bus boycott. Thank you, Maria. This all started when Rosa Parks, a local African American, refused to give up her seat to a white man. The public bus system in Montgomery, Alabama is segregated to where white people sit in the front of the bus and black people sit in the back. Rosa Parks got thrown into jail, which has started a boycott by the African Americans in Montgomery. The African Americans will not stop until they gain equal rights. They're waiting, waiting on the world to change. <laughs> They're waiting, waiting on the world to change. Keep on waiting, 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 waiting on the world to change. Amen. Rosa Parks was fined a whopping ten dollars. Wow. Wow. African Americans have come together and agreed to not ride the public transportation in order to set Rosa free. This will affect the city's income because mainly blacks drive the buses. I believe the boycott will, will lead to the government ruling it as unconstitutional. The bus system is going to go down. I'm yelling to burn! <laughs> <laughs> Good one. one. You know, I never noticed that our cups were white and black. Yeah, it's cool how they look a lot different on the outside, but on the inside, they're both really, really the same. <laughs> This here is the jail wall that Rosa Parks got thrown into on the night of her arrest. She tried to escape these walls, but she wasn't tall enough. She couldn't get out. The African Americans walked to work and they also walked anywhere else they had to go in order to complete their act of the boycott. When African Americans couldn't walk where they needed to go, they carpooled. This was a major form of cooperation that they used in order to perform the boycotts. News Channel 14 is sponsored by Montgomery Bus Boycotts. Now back from a short commercial, we are here witnessing the boycotters. Go <laughs> <Those laughs> bus boycotts! We don't want like segregation! We I want to sit in the front! I don't want to sit in the back! It's we so really bad front. in the back! Yes. I like the front! I can go faster! Really I want to sit in the front! No more black I don't like the back! Whites no and black are equal! I hate segregation! I hate segregation! I hate segregation! I, 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 hate segregation. I want to sit in the front! I don't like the back! Go I hate the Go bus Go bus boycotts! Free rows apart! Free rows apart! Come on! I love rows As you can see, they're using nonviolent protests to get their point across and stand up for what they believe in. Now live to Elizabeth Howard at the scene. I'm Elizabeth Howard here with James F. Blake, the bus driver who Rosa Parks defied on the night of December 1st, 1955, which led to the Montgomery bus boycott. So Mr. Blake, what are your thoughts on Rosa Parks' defiance and the Montgomery bus boycott that all started on December 1st, 1955? Well, to be quite honest with you, Mrs. Howard, I do not take count to them Negro folks taking all white people seats on the bus. And what do you think about this bus boycott? Do you think that it will last very long? No, I do not. Them Negro folk, they rely completely on this Montgomery bus system. They ride everywhere from work to home to anywhere they're going on these bus. Thank you so much for your time. Here with two eyewitnesses that were there the night that Rosa Parks got arrested on December 1st, 1955. This arrest led to the Montgomery bus boycott. George Randall, what are your thoughts on Rosa Parks' arrest? Well, I strongly disagree with the police's decision to arrest her. Mr. Jonathan Lee, what are your thoughts on the segregated nation that we live in? Well, I think my friend here said it really well. Uh, I believe that segregation should be outlawed all across the United States, and I think that everybody should be equal. I'm Elizabeth Howard. Back to you, Lucy and Catherine. Thanks for watching Channel 9 Eyewitness News. We will update you for more on the Montgomery bus boycotts tomorrow.